No, not today, Connie. <laughs> you know, you're just a little sweetie pie, you know that? <laughs> a real little dickens. <laughs> Hasn't she done a wonderful job with our Matthew doctor? Really? He's the picture of health. Oh, I'll put it on your bill. Oh, thank you, Connie. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Miss Lynn. You just keep up the good work, Constance. Oh, and let Matthew have his bottle as long as he wants it. She's very upset because her daughter-in-law doesn't believe babies should have bottles after eight months. I thought for a minute she was going to ask my opinion. Uh, Connie, listen about Rachel. She's coming along all right? Fine, just fine. For the first time since she entered the clinic, she's showing a definite improvement. Oh, I'm glad, Mike. It's been awfully rough on you, I know. Her psychiatrist called me yesterday. I was scared stiff. I, I know you'd think being a doctor and all that, I'd have more professional, what do they call it, cool or something. But, but anyway, the news is good, and there's a big improvement, and the consensus of opinion was that it would be a good time for me to go down and visit her. Connie, you wouldn't believe it. The difference is like night and day. She's Rachel again. Did she uh, ask about us? Yes, mostly about Sir Matthew. Did she refer to him as her baby brother? No, no, Connie. She's not living in this fantasy world anymore. And that's why this is such a, a critical time for her. She's facing reality again. She's facing what's happened to her. Well, I, I, I didn't know. I thought I could handle it myself, but I... I... Mike. No. <laughs> you want to step up on me again? Can't go down there. Can't go see Rachel. I have a family to think of, to protect. No, that's not really it. It's just when I cleaned out Rachel's room, I... I wanted her gone. I wanted everything about her gone. I know, I know. You opened up the window and you let the air in. But the doctors down there say if you could just come to the sanitarium and stay somewhere nearby for just a couple of days, it would do her so much good. What do you think I'm made of? Iron? Every time I reach my hand out to help somebody, I get hurt. From now on, I'm going to revert to that very special mother's privilege of being very selfish. From now on, I'm going to think of him, number one. Besides, if I went down there, I'd end up needing a psychiatrist. I know, I don't have much of a perspective on this, Connie. How long does the doctor think I should stay? How long, Mike? <laughs> Connie. You know what? I'm going to start next week being very selfish. But this week, I'm going to go down and see Rachel. If Elliot will let me. Call me here. Call me as soon as you know. 